Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today I'd like to give you a brief tour of Norton Family Premier. So I've signed into the account, um, which you can do from any web browser on any device. And when you first log in, you've got tabs. Um, one is for alerts, and then the rest are for any children that you've added to your account. So I'm logged in as the parent right now, which is why it shows this here. Um, so first you see alerts, and you can um, filter these by child. They just have one that's added in here right now. Um, and so you can go through and see um, what was the event, which child, time, and the device. Uh, and so you can go in and um, for each of these, you can delete them or you can get help, kind of learn more um, about those. So you can go in and scroll through here. And then if you go and click on a child, um, here you have an option to lock the device, which really limits its functionality, basically just makes it so that it can uh, send and receive phone calls uh, if it's a mobile device. And then um, here you can see the activity summary um, and you can filter this by the devices. So I've got an Android device and a Windows 10 device that are added for Aldarian. And so um, you can get kind of an overview um, for these. So you've got web, time, mobile apps, location, search video, and social. So you get kind of an overview on this dashboard, um, gives you basically uh, the, the top things that are happening in each of those areas. And then you can view more details. So um, this toggle, you can turn each of these on and off um, with a click. Um, and then you can also get, dive in and see uh, the details. So if I click here, view details, um, then this is now showing me um, the web supervision. So I can jump back and forth um, here, which we'll see in a minute. So the most active categories uh, we can see here. I can say I want to see only the questionable activities, so things that like uh, websites that are blocked. Uh, and then I can scroll through um, and see details on these, um, the search, the site, um, how many times the site was visited, etc. And you can also filter here by category of website, uh, device that it was searched from. You can go back up to 30 days. And then when you're in this view, you can actually jump right over to your house rules as well. And this is where you configure um, kind of the, the level of filtering, the level of supervision that you want going on. So uh, you can choose um, your restriction level and there are some defaults. So you click here and you can see kind of based on some age groupings, um, the websites that are allowed and the categories that are allowed. The others obviously would be blocked. Um, and then you can, you can start with one of those and then customize it or just start with, with custom. And you can choose, you know, what, what happens. Are they just being monitored? Are they warned? Are they actually blocked? And then there are uh, 48 different categories. Um, so you can go through here and uh, block and unblock the ones that you want just by clicking on them. Uh, if you hover over, uh, you get a little description of what that category is. Uh, and then you can also choose to block categories that are not, uh, or block websites that are not categorized. Um, Symantec, the company behind Norton, uh, tries to categorize all of the websites online, and obviously they're not able to do all of them. And so there are a lot that are just considered uncategorized because they're too new or they're too small to be noticed or for whatever reason. And so if you don't block them, uh, then they will be allowed. So um, I advise that you know if, if you are concerned about that, you, you block the uncategorized ones. If there is an uncategorized one they need access to, you can manually add that. So down here you have restricted websites. So anything that any web addresses you add here would be blocked regardless of whether their uh, category above is allowed. And then opposite for allowed websites, um, any website that you put in here would be allowed even if their category is blocked. Uh, and then Symantec has put some of their own websites in there uh, to start. So that is um, web. So if you go over to time, then here you can, uh, you set this by device. So I would select which device I want to do here. Again, there are some uh, rules that you can choose. So they have some, some starting points based on ages. Uh, again, you can choose, are you just monitoring or are you blocking? And then you can set uh, days, number of hours allowed on the days. Um, and when those hours are that they're allowed. And then you can set a pin that uh, can be entered um, so that basically you can just enter the pin on their device if you want to you know, grant them some extra time or override 
uh, the time limits. And again, here I can switch back and forth between house rules and activities. We want to go see, you know, what does that device um, activity look like? Uh, I can go see that. Mobile app. So I can go to the house rules here and see. Um, so these are the apps that are installed on this particular Android device. And I can go and toggle these on or off and save. And uh, that is how the app supervision works. Uh, so I can see a list of apps. If, there, if there's a long list, you can search for them here. Uh, then there's location. Um, this would uh, apply to um, mobile devices, not to PCs. Um, but here, if this was enabled, you could go through and see uh, the, the geographic location that this device has been over time. Search is for the, uh, the big search engines. So you can um, set that up and it forces safe search um, when they are searching through those and then also logs their search activity. So you can see what they searched for and when and from which device. Video, uh, this really only works for YouTube and Hulu if they're uh, set up on the right browser. Um, I've not tested that part of it yet. Um, yeah, so that doesn't work in any apps. So fairly limited, but you can use that if you want to. And social is pretty pretty limited as well. They call it social, but really it's, it's basically just Facebook. Um, and really only when they are using uh, a PC with a supported browser. Um, so you can go through and, and set that up. So uh, I can hit this X here and go back to the overview. And that is just a brief tour of Norton Family Premiere. To learn more, visit DefendingDigital.com.